Let's make chicken Alfredo pasta for dinner tonight. It is one of America's favorite dinners and for good reason. It is so delicious. It's decadent, rich and creamy. And then we've got some seared chicken, golden and crisp and juicy with some broccoli, bell peppers. You've got your whole dinner on one plate. It is such a great combination. The ingredients that we need are some pasta. I'm using this pretty and unique shape pasta, but you can use any kind of tubular medium pasta or fettuccine spaghetti. They all work really well for this recipe. Any kind of chicken will work in this recipe. And then we're going to season it with some dry herbs and spices, salt and pepper. And then for the vegetables, I'm using broccoli and this beautiful red bell pepper. Sweet. They add some color to this dish and I think they all pair really well together. Then we're going to add some garlic because garlic makes everything taste better. And lastly, we need some oil to cook that chicken in. For the Alfredo sauce, we need some heavy cream, lots of Parmesan cheese, butter, and the secret ingredient is a little bit of cream cheese. This dinner comes together so fast, so I like to have everything prepped before I actually move over to the stove. But first, I put a large pot of water on the stove to come to a boil for the pasta. While the water is coming to a boil, I'm going to get the rest of the ingredients prepped. I already cut the broccoli into florets, so they're ready to go. I'm going to cut up this bell pepper and then just peel the garlic. For the chicken, I took a chicken breast and then I cut them this way in half and then I pounded them out a little bit so that they're in even thickness and they're gonna cook evenly on the skillet. Chicken breast is a little bit thick so I like to cut it this way so that it cooks faster and it gets a nice sear on the outside but it cooks more evenly this way. Another way you can do this is to cut the chicken into cubes and then just brown the chicken pieces instead of cooking it all in one piece. Or you can do it this way and cook it in one piece and then slice them up after they're cooked. Season the chicken on both sides with salt, pepper, and any seasonings that you like. The rest of the process is gonna be on the stove. So first I'm going to cook the chicken and we're gonna sear it until it's a nice and golden brown on both sides. Heat some oil in a skillet until it's really hot and then we're gonna add the chicken in there. Just like that, you want to hear it sizzle. Chicken is golden brown. I'm going to set it aside. And in the exact same skillet, I'm not gonna clean or anything, there's still oil there. If you don't have any more oil in there, add a little bit more. And now we're gonna add the broccoli and the peppers. I'm gonna add the broccoli first and let it cook for a couple of minutes and then add the peppers because the broccoli cooks a little bit longer than bell peppers. And then we'll add some garlic. When I add the vegetables to the skillet in the beginning, I give them just a few minutes in that hot skillet on high heat and get a nice sear. There's still the caramelized bits from the chicken in there. So it gets that lovely flavor. But then to finish it off, I pour in some water or if you have broth, add that in for extra flavor. And then just cover it up and let it steam and finish cooking gently that way. And then keep cooking it until the vegetables are as soft as you like them. For the Alfredo sauce, combine the butter, cream cheese, and heavy cream in a saucepan and cook it on medium heat using a whisk to mix it until it's all evenly combined and smooth, but don't bring it to a boil. Then add the Parmesan cheese and mix it to combine and the Parmesan cheese will melt right away. Season it with salt and pepper. And I also like to add a little bit of garlic powder. It'll add just a little bit of flavor, but won't be overpowering. The cream and Parmesan cheese will still really shine. Real classic and authentic Alfredo sauce is made with just cream and lots of Parmesan cheese, and it is wonderful. But it has to be prepared and served immediately. 
Otherwise, the sauce may separate, you can't reheat it. It is a lot more finicky. So adding the cream cheese and extra butter helps to stabilize the Alfredo sauce better. It's a lot more forgiving and gives you a lot more leeway and more freedom to not be as strict about how you serve this because it's gonna be just as wonderful if you have to serve it half an hour after you made it or immediately right from the stove to the table. Not only that, but I think it really does add a delicious flavor and creaminess. The cream cheese adds a little bit of a tang. So I really think it is extra delicious too. So don't knock it until you try it. I think that you will be surprised at how delicious this sauce is. Slice up the chicken and everything is ready to be put together. When the pasta is done cooking, save some of the pasta water, just dip out a small cupful and set it aside just in case you might need it later to thin out the sauce. Drain the pasta and then put it all together. So add the sauce, the vegetables, the chicken to the pasta, toss it all together, add some more Parmesan cheese to go on top and serve. It is so delicious. For the best results, don't toss the pasta with the sauce until you're ready to serve it right away. And you can make the Alfredo sauce a little while later. The cream cheese really helps you be able to heat it up. Uh, just reheat it on super low heat and then toss the pasta with the sauce and the rest of the ingredients once you're ready to bring it to the table. Who doesn't love Alfredo sauce? It is so decadent creamy and luscious it just coats the pasta and we've also got chicken and vegetables you know what else is a big plus about this recipe in the amount of time it takes you to heat up the water and cook the pasta everything else is cooked too so you cannot go wrong with how easy and quick it is make some extra alfredo sauce get some breadsticks and you've got the perfect side to go along with this to make it even more special and delicious. I think this just might become one of your family's favorite dinners. So go to Olga's Layer Factory to get the printable recipe and I'll see you next week for more delicious recipes.